right guys so we're gonna go ahead and go over my OEM tools toolbox I got this box when I completed um, school Southwest University diesel program um, our school is sponsored by AutoZone so that explains the stickers on there so this is the OEM tool 6 drawer roll cabinet um, this is my top drawer right here I have screwdrivers I have flatheads Phillips uh, vice grips or locking wrenches whatever y'all want to call them but to me these are vice grips and both the regular and the needle noses and they all come in handy look this up it's tiny that's that this specific one's tiny but it comes in handy i have an oem tools uh flashlight right here you pull it out very bright leds look at that and it is magnetic so you go ahead, throw it on there. Pretty good for when you're working under the hood. I have here a long set of needle noses. So wire, some angled wire strippers and cutters. They're very nice. I had some pocket screwdrivers. This is the Phillips one. I had the flathead, but I did lose it because I was laying on the ground one time. And when I got up, it kind of fell out of my pocket for my shirt. There's an air gauge. This is more for like automotive. This set is automotive, but it's the set the school decided to give us. I haven't really used this. This is a magnet, mag, magnet, like a recovery, tool recovery, sockets, bolts, nuts, whatever. My rings, I take them off for when I'm working. And I have all my pliers right here, adjustable or very big, beefy one, a good size, medium. And I have my needle noses, some regular pliers, and obviously eye protection. You always need eye protection when working in this field. Second drawer. Three dead belows. I have a three crescents. One's a six inch, eight inch, and this is the big daddy, 12 inch. All of them have the markings for inches and metrics. So you can adjust to whatever size you need automatically or learn your sizes. These are Sunex wrenches. Most of the tools I have are OEM, but this one is from Sunex, obviously. Has a nice V-groove patterns, nice chrome, 12 piece metric V-groove set, going ranging from eight millimeter to 19. Then this is the SE set. Have one that fell out. We'll address that later. <laughs> this one's a 14 piece set. Also, with the V grooves, they come in these nice uh, travel bags. Eventually, I will take these out and put them on an organizer. And they're very nice, Go going all the way from 9 sixteenths of an inch to 1 inch and 1 quarter of an inch. And then the third drawer is going to be my socket drawer. Socket, ratchets, breaker bars. This is the 3 8 metric set with the shallow and deep sockets. That's come with spark plug sockets, the wobble plus extensions. Very nice. A fixed head. 3 8 ratchet. I believe it's a 36 tooth. Looks very similar to a snap on, but obviously what lacks from snap on is the teeth count. But works fine. I've been using them for two months already. And they work absolutely fine. Um, it's the quarter inch set, it does come with this very nice, uh, like the screwdriver, it's a ratcheting screwdriver, and it's also doubles as a nut driver, if you go ahead and throw this in there, you can use any of these, uh, quarter inch sockets, they're also deep and metric, <laughs> these are 3 8 um, SAE sockets right here. And these are SAE uh, quarter inch sockets. This is my flex head three-eighths and obviously my quarter inch three-eighths as well. These are adapters. This is a quarter to three-eighths and three-eighths to quarter, three-eighths to half, half to half to three-eighths and half to uh, three-quarter. I have, sorry I'm a little sick, but oh well. I have two breaker bars, this is a half inch breaker bar, 3 8 breaker bar, work fantastic. 
these are my hex sockets right here I have my Torx right here and it's weird these are not all the same drive like these right here are going to be quarter inch drive and then three eighths and all these are going to be half same here these are um this is a quarter three eighths half quarter quarter three eighths three eighths half and all this is from oem tools this is, it has a very nice uh organizer on it but unfortunately they don't not make um uh, soft like a they don't make like a carbon fiber um, organizer for SEs when you order SEs they actually come on these rails either come on this rail or this one right here and <clears throat> most of the stuff you get on mobile or you get it on mobile tools distributing I believe that's the website don't quote me on that but you can also get it from AutoZone and Amazon as well um, this is um, this is where I keep um, oil filter removal tools. I have a chain wrench right here. Um, I have two different sizes of OEM uh, metal band type wrenches. I have the pliers. This is like a little twist where you can twist the filter off. I haven't used this one. These, however, work really well. These. This is a terminal spreader, terminal remover, terminal cleaner, terminal ratchet and then I have a brake uh, a brake pad gauge right here from OEM tools it's metal not plastic this is the test light from OEM tools this is like a tire wear indicator kind of hard to get out of this Never really use it. Mainly check the wear of my tires through eyesight. Have a fluke multimeter right there, which I got at school as well. Impact drawer. Uh, let's let it readjust. Come on, get back in focus. So I have the OEM tools, air impact, um, half inch, has that soft uh, organizer foam with the carbon fiber on it, OEM tool impact lug nuts, sockets, this digital air gauge, works really well, it's very accurate, turn it on from TrueFlate, you could change the... You could change what units you want want to uh, measure in. Most of the time, it's PSI. This is the air ratchet, three eighths, uh, three eighths impact sockets from OEM Tools, half inch um, extenders. And I have an air hammer, which is not set up yet. This is the only Duralast tool I got from AutoZone, and this is the reversible drill and I don't use it haven't really found the need to use it yet this right here this is going to be a disc brake caliper tool set right here comes in a nice um, packaging take it on the road with you have not used this yet and then they work on diesels not a lot of a lot of motive here at the shop where I work this is the cap oil filter wrench removal as well full set a 10 piece cap set this is the this is the oil filter removal socket set and this one's 3 8 as well as this one right here Have yet to use as well. Brand new. I'm gonna have some re some wheel hub resurfacing uh, kit right here. 
this is a hot sleeve which I should be using more often but I don't kind of brake cleaner wax for my box um, I don't know where my funnel went but that's part of my funnel gloves this is a battery holder comes in handy because we have a service truck here that comes back with a bunch of batteries and this makes it easier to carry around and it's a good tool to have better to have it and not need it to need it to not have it go ahead and throw all these back in here this one had to put slanted because otherwise the drawer won't close but yeah this is my OEM tools a six drawer toolbox um, they do make a top piece to this. It's a six drawer. has like a little mini hutch to it. has a hole over in there for you to add a power strip. But I haven't found the need to actually buy that yet. And it's a very nice box. Very nice uh, looking casters. They kind of almost look like um, fancy brand casters. And what's also cool about this box you can the push handle you can move it over here on this side it has the holes for them they're 10 millimeter uh, bolts or you can just remove the handle all together and also right here is like a soft pad it doesn't really sit flush it moves back and forth it's not mounted to the box permanently and you know find stuff like dust trash and whatever other people leave but overall this box has done me good in the two months i've used it here at my new job as an entry level visa technician and you can look on you can look and find um, some oem tools from autozone they don't have really much in store you have to go on their website